Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, we've had some rain, so the ground's wet. So tillage and planting's kind of on hold right now, but we got other things to do. What we're doing is getting ready to go spray herbicide on the patch of corn that was planted in the cold ground. That is very uneven, but it's starting to get some weeds in it. Now, uh, there's a lot of different herbicide recommend or options available for sweet corn uh, with weeds in it. And they vary greatly from state to state and by variety of corn that you grow. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to give a recommendation or talk about what I'm spraying because anytime you're spraying a herbicide on top of a crop, there is some risk and I really don't want someone to misunderstand what I'm spraying with or uh, anything like that and take that as advice and kill their sweet corn. But there's a lot of options. You can, uh, depend on the rate you put down your atrazine to begin with, you can go back with atrazine. Uh, Broadleaf, you can use Stinger 2,4-D. Uh, grasses, you can use Gold or Accent. And of course, if you're using Roundup Ready or some of the other herbicide ready uh, varieties such as uh, I think uh, uh, Liberty Link, Roundup Ready, stuff like that, there is herbicide options. And it all depends on the what you're growing, the weed you're trying to kill, and uh, you know, uh, you're at the stage of the crop, how far along the crop is, and all that good stuff. So, uh, contact your local agriculture professionals, uh, your agronomist, or whomever you work with, your uh, extension service, or uh, you know, local uh, chemical supplier. Uh, chemical rep whatever and find out what's available but uh, you know as far as giving recommendations or telling you what is in that tank uh, I I feel a little uncomfortable about that but uh, hopefully you know uh, you guys can uh, 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 deal with it if you have questions if you're in the southeast Virginia Kentucky Tennessee uh, Alabama Mississippi Georgia Florida North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, they they put out a yearly uh, vegetable handbook, crop handbook, or something like that, that has a lot of your uh, uh, pesticide recommendations in it. So it's 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 a pretty handy resource to have if uh, you can get your hands on one. Go online. This is not an advertisement for any of these chemicals or any of that stuff. It's just you know uh, talking about what we're doing. But anyhow, what we're going to do. It'll probably take us two sprayers to cover that little patch. And we've got some, like I said, we've got some different weeds in there that we want to take care of. Uh, the corn's starting to look better. After talking with some folks and this, that, and other, I think what happened was, instead of it being solely cold ground, I think some of that corn had emerged and that cold weather burnt the top off of it and the growing port point was deep enough that it came back out. I uh, talked to a gentleman about that today and, uh, I hadn't really thought about that, but he may be right. So the corn that's farther ahead was corn that was late emerging and that that's backs re-emerged, if you will. I don't know. Uh, it, it was due to cold weather. I'm pretty confident in that. But we're going to uh, finish up here. This video is being shot with my Father's Day gift, a new camera. So let me know if the quality is any better. So anyhow. Well, let's go get started.
Okay, we've got that sprayed. Uh, we've got it all sprayed, and uh, we should be good to go now. May have to come back and spray it one more time. But uh, this section here was pretty weedy. It's all pretty weedy, but uh, that is quite possibly, more than likely, the sorriest sweet corn patch I've ever had. But <laughs> you know, that's that's part of it, I guess. Uh, you win some you lose some it's not it's it's pretty bad but it's it could be worse i guess but uh that's uh you know it is what it is i guess the good news is the rest of it that's up the other five acres that's up looks really good and of course the uh two and a half three acres we planted there last friday um, that's in some good ground, so it, uh, 
it should come up. I bet you it's in the mid 50s right now. It is cool. And uh, but anyhow, that's where we're at. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video. Uh, if you see a video you like, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or a comment about a video, please do so. But uh, until next time, hopefully we can grow a little better corn than that. Uh, we'll see what it yields. And, you know, that's that's all that matters uh, at the end of the day as far as crop. Um, i got to fix this uh, side up through here where it washed out before I can spray with the... Uh, start spraying it for worms but anyhow that's today the sky's cleared off let's uh let's go home and eat something and go to bed and start all over again tomorrow have a good one. bye